Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my favourites and my not so favourites or the products that I don't like. I really wanted to do this video because I do have a lot of products that I, I like and then I have some like products that I don't like that I spend so much money on. Okay, so first of all what I'm going to go into are my favourites and the first favourite that I have is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. This is my holy grail foundation. I'm obsessed with this foundation. It's the best foundation out there in my opinion. It's just so amazing. It has an SPF of 10 which mm, I wish it didn't have an SPF because when I do like have I have a flash photo taken of me you can see the flashback which is not the best but for this foundation I can see right past this. This is a matte foundation. I don't like the feel of matte foundation so I like to mix this foundation with any other foundation right now. I'm wearing it and I mixed it in with a lighter foundation which is the L'Oreal True Match foundation but any foundation that I mix it with it just makes it so much better. I really really like this. This was 20, th this was 37 euro in boots but uh, in boots when I use my leap card I get a 10% discount which is really really good. So yeah that's one of my favorites. My next favourite is a brush and it's the Inglot 6SS brush which just looks like this. It's a really really fluffy brush. It's amazing for blending out your... <clears throat> it's amazing for blending out your eyeshadow. This just takes me like two seconds because I have really small eyes as it is. It takes me like two seconds just to blend out my crease shadow. I used it... I use this all the time. Like every single day I use this. There's not a day I don't use this. It's 20 euro. It's a little bit expensive but like for a brush like this what if you use this every day it's so so worth it my next favorite is the collection sheer loose powder this is unbelievable this is so good i love this compared to my english loose powder i just find this is a lot nicer and a lot finer which is shocking because this was only three pound when i got it over in england i couldn't find the price for it in ireland but you can definitely get it in boots i've seen it in boots um i got this in super drug it's amazing. It's so good. I get. I have it in too translucent, which it doesn't look translucent. It looks like it has a little bit of pigment to it. But trust me, when you put this under your eyes or if you're baking with this, even if you put this all over your face, it doesn't change the color of your foundation. My next favorite is the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. My best friend got this for me when she was over in Texas. She's from there, so when she went over during Christmas, she got me this for um for Christmas. It is so, so, so good. Oh, I wish I didn't like this, because when it runs out, I'm gonna be so sad. I have, I have some backup mascaras, but mm, oh my God, this is so good. I'm not a huge fan of the brush, but like, the formula of it is just so good that I can just like look past it. It's amazing. And I looked this up on Sephora.com and it's $21. But I think you can get it off Tarte's actual website. And I'm not too sure how much it is. I don't know. I'll look it up and then I'll put it down in the description below. Next is the Benefit Erase Paste. This, this, if I ever lost this, I don't know what I'd do with my life. This is amazing. I have such dark circles under my eyes because I do different shifts in work. Some days I do mornings and some days I do late nights until like half two in the morning. Like I don't get home until that time. And I'm always, I always look so tired. But when I put this on, like I have it on now, you can barely see my dark circles. Like this is amazing. This is just so good. And I think that for anyone who has like dark pigmentations under their eyes or even like I use it sometimes to cover my veins on my eyes, on my eyelids, this is just amazing. It's quite expensive though. I get it normally in the airport. That's where you can get it cheaper or in boots. I get 10% off, like I said, with my leap card. But without any discount, this is $27.50. But even for that price, it's so worth it. I've had this for ages and it's still like, hasn't even hit the bottom of the, the tub. Next are the lip lingerie lipsticks. And I'm wearing one of them on my lips right now. I'm wearing embellishment. These are my favorites. These are unbelievable. Love them so much. This one I like to pop in the middle of my lips because it is quite like pale for me when I'm wearing like my lightest foundation. This actually looks really really pretty but um, I just prefer to pop it like in the middle of any lip color and it's just so good. Like these 
They dry it down so nice. They're not like tacky or sticky or anything like that. They're just really, really nice and I really, really like them. And they're nine euro each in boots. And then I have my Essence Silky Touch Blush in Indian Summer. I got this in a pharmacy beside my college for, a, I think it was a euro and it's my favorite blush and I'm, I, oh my God, it's just so amazing. It like brings out like this really nice flush, like a natural blushy color on your cheeks. It's amazing. It even has like the slightest sheen, but you can barely even see it. And when it's on your cheeks, it kind of makes you look like you have like a natural glow. I can't believe how like good quality it is for a euro. I'm not too sure how much it is on its own. I think it might be like two euro or 250, but I recommend it so much. I think you get this in pennies as well. And then my last favorite is the Soap and Glory Peaches and Cream Amazing 4-in-1 Wash Off Deep Cleansing Milk. That's what it looks like. I've like had this for, I'd say, mm, about a month and a half or something like that. This is unbelievable for taking off your makeup. It gets rid of everything. One go as far as say um, mascara, like the waterproof mascara, but like your brows, everything else, just it gets rid of so easily. It smells so good. It smells like peaches and it's for every skin type. I like to use a cleansing milk because if I use a face wash, I have a product in my hates that, um, it is not the very good but this is really really nice it feels really moisturizing even when you wash it off it doesn't leave a film some products when it has like a moisturizing feel it leaves a film but this one doesn't leave, leave a film i think this was 9.95 in boots as well but yeah i really really recommend this it's really good now on to my not so favorite products it felt really bad because some of these were really expensive and i was really hoping that they would like work so when i found out that they didn't work i was really upset so anyway the first hate it product that I have is the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation and the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. I'll talk about the um, foundation first. This was so expensive and when I tried it on in the shop it like was so beautiful. She put it on so nicely and then when I got home and I tried it it bloody like it when I put it on my face it was one color and then it oxidized to like orange and I was like oh my god I even I have a video on like my first impressions of this and I did try it a lot more times and I tried to love it so much but it wouldn't let me love it so it's just such a pass for me and now onto the naked skin concealer this is in light warm and I don't like the formula of this whenever I put it underneath my eyes after I put it with the erase paste I always use the erase paste so I know even with other cheaper concealers this works perfectly fine but for some reason with this it just clumps and it like gathers together on like dry spots what that I like I know I don't have like just it has like a chicken skin look underneath my eyes it's just so weird even just I've tried to apply this with like a brush my beauty blender even with my fingers and nothing seems to work I love the color of this I wish this had the same formula as the um as the fit me or even the NYX uh, photogenic concealer but like this it just doesn't agree with my skin I don't know why I got these two for like 60 euro or something like that which is quite expensive especially like that I didn't like them next two products um, these are so disappointing oh these are the body the body shop shape adjusting drops these are like foundation drops so you put these in say like for me my, every single foundation is way too dark for me when I'm at my playlist so you would use like this dropper and you take it out put it on your palette drop like a tiny bit of this into it mix it up and it will make your foundation lighter nope this separated my foundation when I put it on my face. These are not cheap whatsoever. I think these are like from 17 to 20 euro each. Ugh, and I haven't even, I've used this one like twice trying to figure out if I liked it or not. The first time I did like it, I was like, oh my God, yes. But then throughout the day, for some reason, it just, it looked like it was sitting on top of my skin and not blended in to your skin so I definitely do not like this and then for the crack I thought well I'll just try the darkening one 
So I got my lightest foundation and then I dropped a little bit of this into it and I mixed it up and even on the palette it looked purple. I swear like that was the strangest thing. I thought it was like just like a bit of like shadow, eyeshadow or something like on my brush or something but it wasn't. I tried it again and it just, it looked so strange. Oh, I wish this were. Next product is the Bourjois Healthy Mix Concealer. This is crap. I hate this so much. Don't like it. So this also comes in a foundation form, the Healthy Mix foundation. My mom loves that. I don't like it at all. It's not for me. It's way too much of a light coverage. But anyway, this just was so bad. It. Whenever I tried to put this on top, oh, oh, when I went in and put it underneath my eyes, Whenever I tried to blend it out, it moved the foundation off my under eye completely. Even if I blended it down here, you could tell where, like, it just made it so... It was so weird. It, like, took off any foundation that I had underneath my eye. And from down here, wherever you tried to blend it in, it, like, moved the product. It just didn't settle. It just wouldn't work. I think this was, like, five or to seven euro in boots. I'm not too sure. I'll leave all the information down below. Next, these. These are the Revolution liquid lipsticks and it came in nude. I have the other two. I don't know where they are. Actually, they're lost. And then it also came in vamp. These are crap. These are so, so bad. They're so bad. Like they're, they come in different uh, formulas. So you get, um, you get the lip sheer, which is like kind of like, it's kind of metallic-y when I put it on. Um, lip euphoria and lip cream, lip amplification. I was really disappointed when I found out that I hated these because this one and this one especially, these, and then the other two nude ones were so, so gorgeous. I didn't know when I first bought them that they were different like formulas, so they were a little bit like disappointed. They don't dry down whatsoever. And each come in a pack of three and they were 10 euro each. I don't know what else to say. They're just, I don't recommend them at all. Next product that I don't like whatsoever. This is the Simple Kind to Skin Refreshing Face Wash Gel. This, okay, I was talking about the, the makeup remover from Soap and Glory. This does not, like this doesn't claim to like remove makeup. This is just for like when you're washing your face. So, um, but the thing that I have with this, it says in like a, a red circle, it says right there on the front of the bottle, it says 100% soap free. This is possibly the soapiest face wash I have ever used. It's ridiculous. I don't understand. Whenever I have the um, La Roche Posay clarifying cleansing washing facing gel thing, it says the same thing. It says 100% soap free on the front of it. And it's the soapiest thing I've ever used in my life. Whenever I put this on my face, you can smell the soap off it for one. And then when you're like kind of washing your face, you accidentally, like I always do this, I accidentally get some like on my lips and then accidentally lick my lips. And then when I do, it tastes like soap. It tastes like you're licking a, so a bar of soap. I don't understand this. How is it that like whenever a face wash gel or like a face wash says 100% soap free it's the soapiest face wash i've ever used i have face washes that don't even say 100 percent soap free and it's not even soapy whatsoever it's just not it's just very soapy very soapy next product i have this is the wet and wild coverall primer it just looks like this this is a face primer and it says helps to refine pores fill fine lines brighten complexion even skin tone bull don't like this whatsoever it's like so watery it i like primers that have silicone like have a silicone feel to it because i feel those primers actually help to reduce the look of my pores because i have huge pores like they are actually craters they're so big and they're awful and the only way to cover them is with a primer that has like a silicone based and when i saw this in pennies and it said that it did like help to refine pores i was like hmm okay i'll give it a go because i think this was like two euro maybe three i don't know i'll leave it down below but i really want to try different primers and when i tried this it just did nothing it didn't even help to like keep my um foundation on for 
like a long period of time it just it kind of felt like i didn't wear a primer that day last product i have is from inglot these are the inglot cream concealer i actually got these for college we had to get like a small inglot set for our makeup class and we ended up getting these three concealers it's just so greasy like this is just like it feels like what does it feel like it kind of feels like vaseline in a way but a lot thicker vaseline and when you put it on the skin it like it stays really greasy especially that i have really oily skin this like leaves like a sheen on it like that's the green one there but it's like it just stays really greasy it creases so badly like it's just they're so creasy because they're so thick and oily when you put these under your eyes and don't set it like like literally straight away they crease so bad and i just oh, i don't really recommend these at all they're just way too greasy for me personally that's the end of my video i hope you liked this i hope you found any of this helpful and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!